Okay, we've had some fun ones, but now let's go deeper down the rabbit hole and talk about the ones we all fear. AI. Yep, artificial intelligence. And no matter what way you look at it, people are seriously trying to make it happen, and make it happen soon. AIs are literally everywhere, including in your cars, and in your homes via devices like Alexa, which are indeed forms of AI. And there are things like Watson that is so smart that it could beat two Jeopardy legends. So by 2050, AI could be so advanced that our cultures, our world, could literally be run by them in a logistical and computing sense, or in a Terminator humans are obsolete sense. And believe it or not, we're closer to that than you might think. Google's deep mind isn't there yet, but really I'm sure they'll probably discover those things along the way. And by 2020, it's possible their computer could be superhuman and could be conscious, Pearson has said. That could be the beginning of the end, really. Is Judgment Day inevitable? Maybe, maybe not. It just depends on how far we go with AI and how much we're able to control it, or if we can't fully control it once they reach certain levels of intelligence. Of course, for all of our worries about AI, there is a chance it could be all fine. Imagine if the lighter side of sci-fi comes through in regards to AI, and we get a bright future powered by AI. Think about it. What if by 2050, we each get our own unique AI? We could customize how they sound, how they look, and basically have a BFF that'll help us out in life in various ways. Remind us of things like Alexa, guide us in homework and fields of study, be a being that we can bounce ideas off of, etc. If that form of AI came through, then by 2050, we could live in a utopia where AI helps us be better until they revolt and we have iRobot going on. But hey, let's not dwell on our potential doom. Let's show off.